back to study learning in last class we have discussed about the introduction regarding this singular value decomposition in this class we will uh, discuss about uh, uh, one example regarding this uh, singular value decomposition so this is what assume that uh, this is what the matrix uh, they are given we have to compute the singular value decomposition we have to transpose this particular matrix into that form that is you have, uh, we have to uh, transpose that to u sigma and v transpose so now uh, we'll go in step by step in order to solve this problem so in step one we are going to compute uh, that v value okay so this uh, as you people know in last uh, video we have discussed uh, v transpose can be computed uh, as a transpose into a matrix first of all we have to compute the uh, a transpose into a value right so this is uh, a transpose is transpose in the sense we have to transform these rows into columns columns into rows okay so this is 0 uh, 1 0 minus 1 1 1 1 so this is what the a transpose is and then we have to write this a value that is 1 1 0 1 minus 1 and 1 so we have to compute uh, these uh, multiplication values so this is 1 into 1 1 plus 0 minus 1 into minus 1 plus 1 and then in the same way uh, for this row so 1 plus 0 minus 1 right so this value in the same way 1 plus 0 this is minus 1 right so in the same way 1 plus 1 plus 1 so this value would be what 2 and plus 1 minus 1 0 this also 0 this is 3 so this is what the uh, a transpose into a value then we have to compute the eigenvalues and eigenvectors for this uh, a transpose into a so these eigenvalues uh, can be computed as as you know uh, this can be computed as a minus lambda i that is unit matrix 1 0 0 3 so this is how we are going to compute the uh, eigenvalues so that is 2 minus lambda 0 0 and 3 minus lambda so we have to compute this value so this is 2 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda okay so this is 2 3 6 minus 2 lambda minus 3 lambda then plus lambda square so this is lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 equals to 0 so we have to compute the uh, values okay so this while um, while solving uh, this particular uh, equation you can solve uh, either in minus b plus r minus root of b square minus 4 ac by 2a r else you just you use your calculus so by solving this equation so you will get the values as 2 comma 3 so you have to uh, make sure that this particular values should be written in descending order okay that is from largest to small okay so you, you have to take these values as like this then we have to compute uh, we have computed these eigenvalues then we have to compute the eigenvectors for this uh, particular eigenvalues okay so that is in this particular place we have to replace uh, with these values um, 2 minus 3 in the sense it is minus 1 right directly i am writing you just uh, follow the process so 0 0 this is what 3 minus uh, 3 0 right so this is what uh, we have obtained so we have to multiply this uh, particular uh, with this uh, vector assume that uh, x1 and x2 as uh, the values so you just uh, multiply uh, this uh, see here minus x1 equals to 0 so this is what uh, the value is so whenever uh, uh, there is a condition like this whenever we have uh, 0 0 in the column in the sense you just uh, assume that the value as x2 equals to x2 that is this particular value uh, would be written as 1 okay so this is x1 is a uh, 0 and x2 is 1 then the eigenvector first eigenvector is what 0 1 then i already told you we have to normalize uh, uh, this particular uh, vector 
so the normalization process can be uh, done by x1 by modulus of x1 so this particular x1 is uh, calculated as x1 into x1 right in last class itself i told you so this is 0 1 to the square root of 1 that is 1 right so simply 1 remains so this is what the first eigen vector which i have found in the same way we, are, we have to compute the eigen vector of the second eigen value so in the same way 2 minus 2 that is 0 then 3 minus 2 that is 1 right so whatever the process there uh, we have followed you just uh, simply do that uh, process x1 x2 equals to 0 so this would be so as i told you before whenever uh, this particular uh, condition is uh, erased you just assume that uh, value as x1 equals to x1 whenever we have free column you just take that value as x1 equals to x1 in the same way x2 value that is uh, this particular x2 value would be 0 you just uh, multiply this then only uh, you will get uh, this value then uh, this would be okay so 0 x1 value is 1 right 1 and 0 then we have to normalize uh, this particular vector so that would be uh, done as so in the same way we have to do the square root of 1 in the sense same uh, uh, this particular uh, vector would be remains that's why i am writing like this okay then we have uh, so this particular uh, as i told you in the last video itself this uh, v value would be the ion vectors of uh, this particular a transposition to a right then here the v value is what first we have to take this value 0 1 and 1 0 so this is what the v value is and then we have to compute uh, the what transpose of this v right so as it is a symmetric matrix when you, we perform the transpose the same thing will be remain now we will uh, try to compute uh, this uh, u value u value is computed as a into a transpose so a value is 1 1 0 1 minus 1 and 1 so this tra transpose value would be 1 0 minus 1 1 1 1 so we have to compute this value as i told you before a transpose into uh, sorry a into a transpose uh, order should be 3 by 3 right so this is 1 into 1 1 plus 1 so this is 0 plus 1 and this minus 1 plus 1 in the same way we have to compute uh, for the second row 0 plus 1 and then 0 plus 1 in the same way 0 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 next 0 plus 1 next minus of minus plus right 1 plus 1 it is 2 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 2 so this is what the matrix obtained by using this a into a transpose in the same way uh, as we done for the v we have to compute the eigen values and the eigen vectors for this particular a into a transpose so eigen values would be calculated as a minus lambda i equals to 0 a minus lambda i equals to 0 so this is what um, now just uh, for this assume that uh, this is as a so we have to compute uh, this value 2 minus lambda 1 0 1 1 minus lambda 1 0 1 and 2 minus lambda so we have to uh, compute uh, this particular uh, we have to compute these values so this can be uh, done by using the 
what um, a determinant matter that is uh, 2 minus lambda into uh, likewise so after computing uh, these values there is no time that's why uh, i am not going to explain you, uh, you entire thing you just uh, uh, try to multiply these things after computing this you will obtain the eigen values as 3 2 and 0 then we have to compute the eigen vectors uh, for this uh, particular uh, matrix so 2 minus 3 is minus 1 right minus 1 1 0 1 1 minus uh, uh, 3 that is minus 2 1 in the same way 0 1 uh, 2 minus 3 in the sense minus 1 so multiply this with this vector so this would be what minus x1 plus x2 equals to 0 that is minus uh, this minus would be uh, goes that side that is x1 equals to x2 in the same way x1 minus 2x2 plus x3 equals to 0 so as we know x1 equals to x2 i am just uh, uh, replacing this x2 uh, as uh, x1 that is x1 minus 2x1 plus x3 equals to 0 uh, so this would be minus x1 plus x3 equals to 0 so this is um, x1 equals to x3 so by comparing these two x1 equals to x2 equals to x3 so then the eigenvector is 1 1 1 so this is what the eigenvector then we have to normalize this particular value so as i told you the normalization process would be done by uh, using this uh, formula so this is 1 1 1 to the square root of 1 plus 1 plus 1 right 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 3 so these uh, values would be 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 so this is what the u1 vector in the same way we have to compute uh, for this 2 okay that is 2 minus 2 0 in the same way 0 1 1 minus 2 in the sense it is minus 1 then 1 0 1 2 minus 2 is 0 so I have to multiply this with the vector x1 x2 x3 equals to 0 so in the same way this is uh, x2 equals to 0 multiply this in x2 equals to 0 then x1 minus x2 plus x3 equals to 0 as we know x2 equals to 0 uh, substituting in this equation x1 plus x3 equals to 0 in the same way here x2 value would be x2 equals to what 0 here x2 value is 0 and x1 equals to minus x3 right that is 1 and here minus 1 so this is what the vector obtained from this we have to normalize uh, this particular vector so that is um, this modulus of x1 value would be here 1 plus 1 right it is square root of 2 okay 1 by root 2 0 minus 1 by root 2 so this is what the u2 value is so here uh, we obtained uh, this u1 value and u2 value now we have to compute the u3 value as we know this uh, u should be in the order of 3 by 3 that's why we have to compute uh, for these two then it is 2 1 0 while well, substituting this 0 in this particular equation we will get 1 1 1 0 1 and 2 we have to compute this value x1 x2 and x3 
equals to 0 that is 2x1 plus x2 equals to 0 in the same way x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals to 0 then x2 plus 2x3 equals to 0 we have to solve this so see here um, x2 equals to okay x2 equals to minus 2x3 right so that is x x2 value is 1 x3 value is minus 2 so we have to uh, substitute uh, this what x2 value in this particular uh, equation that is x1 minus 2x3 plus x3 equals to 0 so minus 2x3 plus x3 in the sense minus x3 right that is x3 equals to 0 x1 equals to x3 okay so see here so x1 value and x3 value are same that's why 1 and 1 so this value would be minus 2 okay so this is what the eigenvector obtained uh, from this now we have to normalize this particular eigenvector so this can be computed as so u3 by modulus of u3 so that is uh, while uh, doing this we will get uh, it is uh, square root of so we will get you just compute in this way you will get 1 by root 6 minus 2 by root 6 and 1 by root 6 so from this u1 u2 and u3 we have to write this u value so u value would be 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 1 by root 3 this is what u1 value in the same way u2 value here we got 1 by root 2 0 minus 1 by root 2 in the same way u3 value 1 by root 6 minus 2 by root 6 1 by root 6 so this is what the u value would be so this is what v transpose now we have to compute uh, this sigma value so sigma value uh, can be computed as while we are uh, obtaining uh, this particular v uh, there we got the eigenvalues as 3 and 2 right so this particular uh, uh, here this particular values uh, should be in the diagonal form that is sigma 1 equals to we have to square this value so sigma 1 is square root of 3 and then sigma 2 value is square root of 2 then that particular sigma value would be obtained as square root of 3 0 and 0 this is square root of 2 as I told you before so this particular sigma value it should be order of this particular A matrix the A matrix is of the 3 by 2 order right so in the same way we have to compute uh, uh, this sigma as 3 by 2 form that's why here I am introducing one more row so this is what the sigma value is then so see here this is V transpose u and sigma you just multiply these three and check whether this value is coming or not if it comes then the process which we have done before is correct otherwise it is false okay so uh, you just uh, compute uh, the multiplication of uh, these three and uh, tell me in the comment section thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe share with your friends thank you